Hey guys, this is Game Zone and welcome to my channel. So today in this video I'm going to talk about my thoughts after spending $150 and what do I think about the game but before doing that let me talk about something. You see this this currency, hundred dollar for six thousand orbs. You got extra one thousand two hundred. This is all just too expensive, way too expensive. I didn't bought any of these. I only bought the bundles, and there are still some left for me to buy. But I'm not going to do that. Like these, these are still like save hundred forty percent, hundred five forty, whatever it says. I think. This should have been the base price of things, you know. This should be the starting point, like $25 for this much stuff. But when you see here, when you go here and you see that um, $50 for 3,000 or 3,450 or okay, that's just a waste of money, especially when you're going to gamble with the gems there's just a waste there but when you come here you see that hmm, it has a 25 dollars here 26 dollar here it gives you three crests and a gem and gem power as well so you would know that what you are getting also if you go here it has its own value but there were some other Bundles as well, one time bundle which would give you orbs as well, along with the legendary quests and some other stuff which I bought. And I think that is how I saved almost like a thousand dollar and only spent 150. But after once they are gone, I don't think I'm gonna do any more buying here because the way the price they have made for the game is just too crazy. Why would I spend $100 for this orbs here and then just gamble it in the legendary, uh, sorry, the Elder Crypt for a 1 to 2 star gems? No, that's, that's not a good thing here. So I think the bundle prices, the way they were, uh, the bundle were made, they were good. That should have been the base price along with the stuff that came with it that was really nice as well so i think this should have been the same for the base here like if you buy a hundred dollar pack here you would also get some legendary quests with it and some other material as well because just buying this orbs for hundred dollars and nothing else with it is just a huge waste of money because it's all gamble so I never done this. I only bought the one-time bundle by defeating uh, bosses in dungeons, getting to hell difficulty and such that. And I also bought the cosmetic which I'm wearing. This one. This cost me around $25 but I'm happy with it. It was a really nice buy for me. It looks really cool. I like this one. So I'm not gonna complain there. And I think Blizzard could easily make more cosmetics and make their money from there. They don't need to put the price tag this big f for people to buy just for gamble. This is insane. They should bring more bundles maybe. Every, every week a bundle, a new bundle. Then maybe people could think about spending, you know, but uh with the state like this in the game is it's really bad but anyways uh i spent around 150 dollars got around 100 legendary quests if i'm not mistaken and how does my gems look like and how what did i get all right let me talk about it so there's two five stars gems which i kept the others i just used for gem power to upgrade my gems and in total I think I got around 9 
और एट फाइव स्टार लेजेंडरी जेम्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड मे बी दैट वुड बी माई कैस इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग दे सो दिस इज दन आई गॉन्ट हेयर हॉलर कॉल विच आई लाइक इस goes really good with my bills with demon hunter then the second one is this sleeping bile is also really good to proc enemy with the effect and as you can see i have it upgraded on rank 3 because i got a lot of trash i mean trash gems to upgrade so i pretty much made my plan made up my mind what i want to what i want as the gems in my gear so this is how it's going to be the only one more gem which i would replace is this with the blood soaked but i don't think i'm going to get that so i'm i'm not even going to bother now because i'm happy the way my uh gems look like now the only thing i will do with time is now just upgrade them and that is going to be free to play or with some uh battle bus that's it so this is how my gems look like as you can see rank 2 rank 3 these five star gems are really hard to upgrade so having it on rank 3 is uh, uh, uh i mean in around 150 dollar having this on rank 3 is is a blessing i would say because i was damn do lucky to get the duplicate of this no because i think this gem is just too good to have in around under 155 dollars and i got to and i'm happy the second one is good as well and this is a one star gem which i have it on 8 rank because it's easy to upgrade it and i'm loving this one star gem is awesome also the resonance is 120 it would go around 150 but still the base damage that it increases uh, the, for the speed is awesome i loved it then there's another one star this is also a really good gem like 10% increase base damage or but you would also get more damage but I don't think that's a problem there. Increase or damage you deal by increase your critical chance by. I think that's the one or the other one. I think the other one. Which one does this do? Increase all your damage by increase your critical chance by. Okay. I think this is the other one. Each time you deal damage. I don't take any damage at all on rank seven. I don't know. Anyways, these are my gems here. This is how my gems look tag and I think I'm satisfied by after spending 150 dollars and upgrading my gems and now I'm just going to focus on these gems trying to upgrade it and one more thing my thoughts on if is if is the game is pay to win well not really I mean it all comes down to to a person urges that how much he wants to get powerful and for what reason you know for me i'm not a very much a pvp guy but i still would love to get into pvp and do something i really love doing vault raids in diablo where is it let me show you the vaults what i'm talking about activity raid the vault it should be around here raid the vault so you we would be able to raid the vault of immortals it only available around 12 to 2 same to 9 for one for two hours and you can only raid it once per uh per one like i mean between the time so it's a really good activity there so even if you get to fire with the immortals that's good i like that but the game isn't really pay to win if you really don't have the urge of upgrading your legendary gems and get into the pvp all the time if you're not a pvp guy or if you don't want to get competitive and you just want to have a game in your mobile which you just want to play time to time and have fun with 
We will eventually get a lot of gems, but upgrading them would be a hard part. But still, if you're gonna upgrade all your legendary pieces, which doesn't, I mean, I don't think it cost money because it's on level 6, but I need to be on Paragon 29, 20 now in order to upgrade further. So that's free, it doesn't, I mean, it's not an issue. It's, so yeah, if you keep upgrading your gear, which would not cost you money, and the only thing which is around the pings thing is the gems but you will eventually be able to upgrade them but not as quickly as the guy who is who is i mean paying to upgrade them like me who bought bundles and got these many gems and got to uh, and get to upgrade this gem to rank three this as well to rank two then seven uh seven eight and these two are on level two because I don't have any literally I don't have any gem left. This is how much I mean calculated everything what I wanted and how would I get that. So I'm happy with it. And other than that, yeah. Pay to win is depend on the person if he has the urge to urge to I mean upgrade as quickly as possible then he'll be spending but I won't suggest anyone spending money on this this is just gamble a hundred percent gamble this maybe this is not the platinum I mean if you would buy a 50,000 platinum for 5,000 orbs that is still around hundred dollar let's suppose you you would get uh, 5,000 and 2,000 that would make uh, 70,000 platinum right and you would want to buy an awesome five-star gem and you would go to market let me oh, i have the boon of plenty so i can open the boon uh market from my inventory but it's actually here on in west march to the rackets plaza this is the one here let me just show you i'll just go there and show you what i'm talking about because this is serious i mean all right this is this lady here let's suppose you want you don't want to gamble and you want to buy a gem with the platinum money right and this is the gem which i love to get and it's out of stock blood socked it's just awesome anyways moving forward this is a sleeping bile which i have i got it twice this is also out, out of stock oh well all right this is the other one which i have look at the price value here forty thousand platinum yeah still not cheap but at least you would know that what you are paying for but yeah uh if you spend like hundred dollar buying then another hundred dollar in order to get it to higher level and also you want to up a duplicate after a second rank if you want to upgrade upgrade that uh gem to rank three you would need a duplicate for that which i didn't have but for the sleeping bile i did have the uh, duplicate which i got from the elder rift and i was really surprised there that how did i got a duplicate for this and this one is even expense expensive than this gem here because i think it's more rare and this is the most expensive one here blast soaked it could even go up to 100,000 platinum so yeah this game at this point is it's like leeching money it wants to leech money the only good thing to spend money at this moment 
are the bundles which I already bought. The bundles. These are new bundles just came out. Weekly bundles. These are just craps. Crap. Big time crap. Don't bother buying them. These are crap. The one time bundles which came with the dungeons and the hell difficulty. I'm sure there's going to be another with hell 2, hell 3, hell 4 and goes up to hell 5. Every difficulty is going to have a bundle. I will look into them later if I get the urge then I will think about it but for now I'm really happy I just want to get better gear make my bills which I'm working on so yeah these are my thoughts on the legendary gem and the way the game is and if the game is pay to win or free to play for me it's in between if you would ask me what my experience for me it's in between yeah the game is free to play but also pay to win if i want to get competitive which i want i do like to be uh in a competitive spot with others but not as much that i'll be spending like thousands of dollars per month no i'm not that i'm not that much of a big spender 150 that's about it for me for now with maybe few other bundles later on next month or month after that I might buy another one just so I can boost up upgrading my gems but not gonna go for another gems because I know these are the gems I want there's no uh, other thoughts in my mind like I would be replacing them no just one which I know which one it would be this I might uh, replace this for the blood sock only if I get the blood sock other than that no I would never I'll be just focusing and maybe later on in coming months I'll just buy a bundle a good bundle like I bought before to upgrade my gems to boost them up a little but other than that, I won't be spending my money on anything else. And I would suggest the same thing to you guys. Once, if you if you are going to buy, just buy the bundles. And after that, just wait. Get to hell difficulty one. And if you want to buy the bundle, buy a hell one bundle. Then get to hell two difficulty. Buy a hell two difficulty uh, bundle. And goes on. And wait for a good deal. Then. Uh, open up your wallet to spend some more but not for the base crap stuff this is just outrageous this is not acceptable at this player price I would have said it these are good if it has like uh, 30 or 25 legendary quests along with it then I would have said oh yeah it's also giving you a legendary quest so you can think about spending your orbs someplace else but no you'll be buying this f to buy a legendary quest so why no it's it's not a good deal so yeah these are my thoughts about the game current uh, situation whether it's pay to win or not and how the gems are Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Until then, bye guys.